How's it going guys? Coach Michelle here with my good friend Coach Hillary and today we're going to be going over some wrist um, hills and rails. So we're looking to gain a more active position for our wrist, especially for those of you that have some trouble with that front rack position. Um, so how we're going to set up today is Hillary's going to go kneeling down. Uh, we're, going to use, we're going to go onto this left hand here, left wrist. Coach Vishal here with my good friend Coach Hillary, uh, and today we're going to be going over some active wrist mobility uh, to help you guys get that front rack position a little bit stronger. So if you guys have some trouble with wrist or wrist pain, um, this can potentially be a good drill to slowly um, develop more control in that front rack, front rack position. So how we're going to set up here is Hillary's going to go into a kneeling position, and we're working on this left wrist. So what she'll do is she'll place her palm down. And you want to find kind of what your, your current range of motion is. So all five fingers are pressed firmly into the floor. She's going to lean her body back just a little bit or as much as she can. Uh, and then when she, when she feels that wrist can't really move any further, then we'll stop there. From here, now we're going to start to apply those tails and rails principles. And what she'll do is she'll begin to irradiate or recruit tension through the entire body channeling all that tension, all that work into this wrist. Once we're there, she's gonna to begin to push down into the floor hard. All right, say we're working at about 50% tension, so she'll push for five, four, three, two, one. And now for the pulling action, she's gonna actually lift her arm off the ground, aiming to pull the back of her palm towards the forearm. You'll feel a lot of funky stuff, cramping sensations in this forearm here. Then we'll reset the hand back to the ground. Maybe she'll lean a little further back. We've achieved a new range or a new position and work the same thing from that new position. She'll push down, all five fingers pressing firmly into the ground, really pushing from the bottom side of that wrist, push, push, push. And then she'll bring the action of pulling and turning off all this stuff on the extensor side. Pull, 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 keep those fingers nice and straight. Good. Place the palm on the ground one more time. Maybe lean back or maybe hold that same position. Only go to whatever um, you have available and test that range. Good. Push, push, push. And then pull. Lifting that hand off the ground. Locking those fingers out. Lock them out. Lock them out. Three, two, one. Slowly release. And then now keeping that same position. What you want to do once you finish your repetitions, especially if you're working at higher tension um, reps, is hold that new range of motion that you've achieved and just be a bit more passive there. Let the body adapt to that new position um, and then we'll start to recognize it a little bit more. Hold for about you know, a couple minutes and then you can release, shake it out, stretch out the wrist, maybe go back to your uh, low tension wrist cars and Hopefully you've achieved a new active range for your wrist and it'll start to work for a nice strong front rack position. So thank you, Hillary. And thank you guys. Let us know how it goes if you have any other questions. Um, yeah, happy lifting. Cheers. All right, sweet.